this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to be talking about Movie Studio 16 Platinum and how to use the trimmer. So if you're dealing with long-form projects, the trimmer is absolutely vital. But some of you might not even see it on your screen right now. Some of you might. Well, if you don't see it like I don't see it, all you have to do is go to View, Window Layouts, and then you can hit Default Layout, or you can just go to the window itself and then add the trimmer back on. When you hit that, it'll pop up right here. If you want it back where it's supposed to be, just hold it right over the video preview and hit control. When you do that, it fills up the whole video preview and replaces it. That's okay. Then let go of the mouse button and control and then you'll have another tab. So this is a video preview that you're used to and this is a trimmer and you can cycle between them both. Now the trimmer is really cool because it lets you edit long form media. So I have this long board game, this eight hour board game, which I've recorded and I need to cut it down from eight hours to an hour and the trimmer is going to be super helpful in that. Let me show you how. So I grab this and drag it over here and now I can see all of this clip without mud muddying up the timeline and I can only pull out from here what I want to pull out. So there's a few things to note up here if you hit none this will get rid of what you're looking at in the trimmer. Also this X will also empty the trimmer. So if you ever need to empty it, just hit the X there. You can also hit this view on external monitor button and it will go to full screen depending on which monitor you have set as your external monitor. If you need to exit that, just hit escape. Now here's where your bread and butter is. If you drag your cursor over the main clip, you can quickly search through it. The reason mine looks so choppy is because it's eight hours squeezed into this little piece right here. And so eight hours is is gonna look super choppy when I scroll over it because I'm moving over a whole lot of time in a short amount of time. Yours won't look so choppy if you're looking at less footage. Now this right here, this loop region is very important because you can do a few different things with it. You can select where you want to watch, you can watch it back. I have it muted right now but you'd be able to hear the audio. You can pause and stop the video but it, let's say this little section right here is what I wanted. If I double click on that section, it'll highlight it. Now, one quick, quick way to do that, if you want this section in your timeline, just hit add the timeline from cursor. That finds where your cursor is and it adds it to the timeline from right here forward. If you want to add it to the timeline from right there backwards, then you would hit add the timeline up to cursor. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. A way I like to use it is to go over here and hit create subclip. Now when you do that you can name this anything you want. And when you name it anything you want, you can even reverse it right from the get-go because reversing something also makes a subclip. So if you're going to reverse that clip, this is a great time to do it. Uh, but most of the time you won't be reversing things unless you're trying to do force power. So that's a topic for another video. So uh, you can name this anything you want. Definitely name it something like good shot or good two shot or good full shot or whatever you're editing. Um, good uh, take or the only take where somebody says this line from the script or whatever whatever you have to name it name it something that you don't have to watch it again the next time you name it name it something extremely descriptive and then put it right there and then now you can drag it to the timeline whenever you want it in whatever order you want it I'm gonna hit yes right there uh, but boom now I've got this video in the timeline and I know exactly what part I have and if I go through and I cut this entire thing which I'm gonna do it's going to be a while. So one thing about being an editor, you just have to watch the footage back. That's just like lawyers have to read lots and lots of documents. Editors have to watch the footage. If you don't know what you're editing, you don't know what you're editing. So you, so that's just the nature of the beats. I will be watching this eight hour clip, but uh, uh, one way to make it easier is having descriptive names from everything I'm doing all in an order here. I can even storyboard it all with the storyboard bins, but that's a topic for another video. Um, but there's so many ways to do long form editing and make it so much easier on yourself than when you're just doing a quick YouTube project and you're popping a few things in the timeline, which is how we typically talk about things, but isn't necessarily what the typical editor goes through. So one more thing I want to note, I go down here and hit edit visible button set. That allows me to hit this create subclip button and hit OK. Now it's right here on this button set. So whenever I highlight this, I can just hit boom, create subclip, and then I can create another subclip and name it super, super quickly and easily. You can actually create a subclip right from the timeline too. If if you just right click your highlighted area 
and hit create subclip then it just pops a subclip up there but you don't get to name that subclip immediately if you want to name it just right click it and then hit rename and there you can name it anything and that is another way to create subclips right from the timeline if you didn't have it in the trimmer but it so strikes your desire that is how to use the event trimmer in Movie Studio 16 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. Everything you buy through our affiliates links helps us out a lot. Comment below with any questions, concerns, video ideas, and that is uh, what we want to hear from you. We want to know what's in your head. We want to know what's helpful, what's not, what you need to know, and uh, uh, I will do my best to respond to all the comments. You guys are doing awesome at making this channel work. Thank you for every view and every like that you've ever done. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.